Hi there. I'd like to um, tell you about what happened last night. I was singing, um, busking. I'm a street musician. A lot of people don't know the term busk or busking. Um, but I was singing on the street in New Haven like I do every weekend when the weather is nice and I'll be heading out soon. And I just watched a lady with a group of a few friends. I just watched her stop in her step. I thought she tripped, but she just fell like a plank. She face planted the sidewalk, smashed up her right cheek and her, her brow. Um, she literally just drops like this. She went like a board, no protective responses, no stepping forward like a stumble when you're tripping, no putting your hands out. She literally just dropped. Apparently, um, well, they were out having a good time for drinking, um, but she wasn't stumbling. She didn't stumble. Uh, she just stopped in her, and her foot could have caught the slate when she went down. But I don't think she tripped. I thought she may have. I thought I saw that. But I didn't see her stepping out. She went down like a board. Landed completely on her face. She was unconscious before she fell. My very dear friend, like a brother to me, I never met his brother a couple weeks ago. Uh, he did the same thing Thursday morning. This is from that week ago from this past Thursday. 8 o'clock in the morning, he went out shopping alone. Now, granted, he's, he has a prosthetic. He's diabetic. His blood sugar was low, so he was buying groceries to make sure he got groceries in the house. He had his shot the day before, the shot. And so he just collapsed in the store, hit his head, and that was it, done. She was lucky. This lady that I watched drop last night, she literally dropped. Like that nurse that you saw on the vi video that they pulled down, um, the one that just had the vaccination and dropped. I thought that was fake. It just didn't look real to me. But it was real because I watched it for myself. I'm a witness. I've seen it happen. This woman apparently just had her vaccination. I don't know how many days ago, but very recently. I think I'm not sure if it was her first or second. So all I'm saying is, um, I do believe that there was a lot of over-reporting of when people got positive tests for this condition, the big C, O, V, and I do believe they're under-reporting on what's happening with the shot. Um, we already have, we already know about over 4,000 fatalities because of it and a lot of the other deaths that we do know of we are questionable because of course they always say oh it could be this it could be that people have comorbidities same thing as having positive tests but the opposite you see they're they're backpedaling now so now the jab is actually knocking people out but before covid wasn't really knocking people out so, all I'm saying is, um, be careful. She was drinking, so that may have had a factor in it, but it I, wasn't the cause because she wasn't stumbling when she fell. She dropped like a board. Something happened in her brain. I'm a therapist. I'm an occupational therapist. I know protective responses. She had none. She had none. So, I don't think she tripped, even though I thought she did. She may have started the trip was probably a result of, or the, the shoe catching on a slate was a result of when she was falling, but it wasn't because she wasn't, or maybe her foot wasn't lifting up for her, her stride, because she just dropped. She had no consciousness. She put no hands out, nothing. She went flat on her face. It was the freakiest, scariest, awful thing. My heart sunk into my stomach. It was terrible. Um, and I, I hope and I pray that she's okay. She did come aware. Or she woke up, but she wasn't aware of what was going on. She couldn't really respond to answers. She was able to bend both legs. So I don't know what kind of stroke this was or whatever happened. I mean, she obviously had a concussion. But a lot worse happened because she dropped her conscious awareness before she even went down. And my friend's brother didn't last. They tried to 
evacuate the bleed, I guess a subarachnoid bleed, or what kind of ever bleed he had by removing part of his skull and that, but he, he passed like the next day, he was gone, and he was about my age. This woman was maybe my age, a little younger, she may have been in her 40s, I think, 30, around 40 or something, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, yeah, yeah, it's really, really horrible, guys, and um, just pray, pray for God to cover you if you're coerced and, and, and pushed to have to take the jab, and if you can, avoid taking it, by all means do. Um, it's not safe stuff that we're playing with here, and um, the people who are going to be affected worst by it, I believe, are the ones who are medically compromised. It's, um, so, or don't even know it, or things like this happen where she went out for, for a good time with her friends and it ends up in a catastrophe. Um, so I just wanted to warn people that I witnessed it.